Be careful what you feed your pets on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is such a great holiday and tradition. After all, we spend time with our families and the main focus of the day is food and eating. However, when you have your beloved cats or dogs around, who would also love to participate in the feast, you need to be careful what you feed them. There are many food items that they can nibble on, but there are also many that they shouldn't eat. The following food items presented will cover some foods that are safe for your dog or cat to eat and some food items which need to be avoided. Even if you feed any of the safe food items presented, be sure to feed them in moderation. Turkey You can give a small amount of lean, white meat as a treat to your pet, but stay away from skin, fat, and dark meat. Do not give any bones. They can splinter and cause choking or damage to your pet's digestive system. Turkey Gravy Gravy usually contains high amounts of fat which is not healthy for your pet. Fatty foods can cause gastrointestinal upset in your pet. Mashed Potatoes You can give a small amount of plain potatoes, but no butter, sour cream or bacon should be on the potatoes. Mashed potatoes that are prepared bland and light can be an okay snack, but if they are loaded with fat and salt, then it's best to avoid feeding them. Any mashed potatoes prepared with garlic, onions, scallions, or chives should definitely be kept away from pets as these foods are toxic to dogs and cats. Stuffing Don't give stuffing to your pets. Most stuffings are made with onions, scallions or garlic. These ingredients are extremely toxic to dogs and cats and can cause a life-threatening anemia by destroying your pet's red blood cells. It's best to avoid feeding any amount of stuffing to pets. Also, with the added butter, stuffing is a fatty treat that your pet does not need. Cranberry sauce Plain cranberry sauce is usually quite high in sugar, which pets just do not need in their diet. Other cranberry sauces may contain raisins or grapes, which are toxic to pets. So it's best to keep the cranberry sauce away altogether. Homemade Rolls A nibble of a roll, as long as there is no butter on it, is alright, but, raw dough is unhealthy and, should not be fed to your pets. They can't digest it. Green Bean Casserole Just give the beans. Green beans are a great snack for cats and dogs. But, casseroles, usually have onions and creamy mushroom soup, which are unhealthy. Skip the casserole, and stick to the beans when treating your pet. Corn While some pets may have corn allergies, others can manage munching a few cooked corn kernels just fine. Just be sure to keep the cobs away, as it can cause an intestinal obstruction. If your dog or cat attempts to eat the entire cob, candied sweet potatoes or yams. You should avoid these. Candied, sugary, buttery goodness does not offer any nutritional value to pets and is best not to be shared. Pumpkin pie, apple pie, pecan pie, or any desserts, for that matter, are bad for our pets. It's best to avoid sugary sweet desserts when sneaking food to pets. A bite here or there won't hurt them, but remember that chocolate can. Chocolate can actually be toxic to your dog or cat. Ham or pork, if you cook these, should not be given. Ham and other pork products can cause pancreatitis, upset stomach, vomiting and diarrhea. Ham tends to be high in fat as well which can lead to obesity in pets. Even a small amount of ham can contribute a very large amount of calories in a small dog or cat. If you let your cats and dogs nibble on a few of the healthy items, everyone should have a safe and enjoyable Thanksgiving. Also, remember to watch the trash cans, to make sure your dog or even your cat doesn't dive in for extras or bones or other harmful items.